Okay, damn mates. My name is Mr. McGillicuddy. Welcome back once again to my channel. Today, we're going to be continuing the story of Valkyrie Elysium. Now, in the last episode, we started our new mission with our new, um, in Harad. Uh, I can't remember his name, but he pretty much was a knight that wields the power of lightning. We managed to free someone else, but he didn't want to become an in Harad. But we have met him before when Valkyrie was doing her training. Sorry, that was my phone. But, so we're going to continue our search for more trees that contain uh, lost souls. Not only that, we seem to run into another human down there. Which is surprising, because, well, I'm surprised he didn't get eaten or killed. But anyway, enough of my rambling. Let's get into it, shall we? Also, apologies for um, how late between the uploads I was, but um, <clears throat> I was really, really getting into God, into God of War Ragnarok, so yeah, I had to put this on hold. And then Kalista came out, then I decided to Resident Evil. It was just. Alright, so we've got a good idea of where we need to go. Now, it's going to take me a little bit to get to re familiar with the controls again, so please bear with me. Oh. And I gotta say, after playing God of War Ragnarok, I'm even more suspicious of Odin now. It's no, it's no good thing when you just play the, not again that features, that features the same, same God being the villain. No, that was his name, Egon. I'm so out of practice. I'm trying to remember my controls. Guy. Yeah, I'm not doing well. <sighs> I'm so out of practice. Sorry, ruin said that's again I've still had to get back in touch with how to play this game, what the controls are, each turn, etc etc. This is why I should not be left alone. Left uh leaving the games left the stack for a long period of time. And yet I'm still to do that. And I still
kind of weird. I thought I should have practiced before coming back in this, but... That would have to mean going back to Valhalla, and I'd rather not stop midway through the game. Well, rather level, sorry. Since ancient times, the nobility have been have thought nothing of you, no, for nothing of using other people as pawns to serve their needs. You heard the story of Rumia's great guardian being burned at the stake. Surely, people with different stages of titles tend to do that. So you ask me, and I know I'm running on again, and I do apologize. This is a lot of BS. And yeah, people always do what they say because they have the most money. Money means power because they can do and buy whatever they want. And a lot of the times they get away with it. This is why the world is still pretty much in a story state it's in now. But I'm just going to stop there because I'm not going to keep ranting on. I think I missed one back. Oh no, I didn't. I just couldn't get to it. I did miss one back there, but I just. But if I remember right, I couldn't backtrack there. But it looks like I can kind of cut through some buildings here, so that's good. So I must be coming through. Ah. Sorry, I sound frustrated, but I'd like to try to get things on the first go if I can. I mean, I don't mind backtracking because I'm probably going to have to do it, but I'd rather do it on the first go so that I can actually just try and get the better scores off screen. There's no changes in the end or anything like that, it's just all trophies, really. I don't mind that personally because. I just So I was trying to get the uh Do not fear, for this is your salvation. Yeah, you can't break the doors down.
the little chicken seal was in here. But the Sonic Quest is upstairs. It would appear that you are able to see me. I was once a lord of this land. It has been some time since those days, though. For whatever reason, I cannot bring myself to leave. I worry about my domain, about my people. Would you help me? Would you take me to my people's settlement? Yeah, so this goes to show there are some kind of walls out there. But then again, it always is fast. I don't know why I'm just seeing the negativity in people sometimes. Nice, so I got the trophy pit for. I guess this is by knocking them off the edge. Alright, should we go in the building here? Bye bye. Do not fear, for this is your salvation. And as I get a little bit old, I will admit. Also, a note to self I'm going to remind myself to reinstall the game Horizon. And it looks like it's not going to let me go this way. Let's have a quick look up here first before we do anything. Right. Ah, slave rags. One of Cypher's relic re soul relics resembles the rags he wa was once attired in during his life as a slave. The fellowship. Ah, so it's blocking me so I can find the um, rags. It is said that the god on gods honor the souls of the brave warriors by having them fight on their behalf. So do not fear death, brave soldiers. Fear only cow. Cowardness. You must fight with your courage until your very last breath. No comments to that. I'm too much of a coward to actually make a comment about that. Be the first to strike. So let's grab the tree up there first and then move on. Mm 
Definitely can't go across there. According to legend, despite the old father Odin being the chief of all the gods, he also possesses a surprisingly human side. He has a weakness for alcohol and women, and it's said that he comes down in the form of an old man, a peasant or a boatman to woo any woman he finds particularly beautiful. <laughs> Perhaps he even come to visit me before. Okay, I need to start doing some work on this. I'm also going in there. Can't go in there because the door's locked. So down here it is. Oh dear, I was on the water there. Stay vigilant. Ah, moving on. Where to next? Oh, there we go. Ambrosia. Nice. So there's still got a lot of hollow blossoms to find. Oh, so I do go this way. section because there's still a lot more to explore okay what do you have to say recruit fit I'm so lucky to have been accepted as a soldier up in, at the castle the royal cabinet is in a complete state of peace capital sorry is in a complete state of peace so I've never seen a day of fighting I just got to sit around and collect my free meals Ah, thanks to the generous gods that we live in such generous times. <sighs> the holy laws decree your
aren't. Yeah, I guess we're going across here next. Another blue chest. And we're going in this one. Mortal suppression. What does that do? Let's see. Mortal suppression. Doesn't say. I guess I have to look at the. Uh, An earth magic that conceals the cast and uh, concentrates the cast of the power into a target into a target drawing nearby enemies towards him. Hmm. Okay. Of fellowship. Please, Your Grace, just concern yourself with getting some rest for now. Your people will panic if anything is happening to you. Yes, yes, I suppose you are right, as always, Cypher. And you are a good counter only for sound advice. Sounds like you served someone, a prince. It looks like this prince may have been attacked by a plane. Hey, you, wait. Well, uh, you, well, you are a strange one. If you're looking for something, try over there. If you're visiting someone, come this way. There. I gave you a fortune. Now pay me my coin. Jesus, talk about trick. Tricky. Anything for a quick buck? Never was wrong for fortune telling. Highwaymen, bandits, murderers. This world has got has them all, and worse besides mind worse besides, mind you. They say they're just trying to get by. I say these must be the end times, if that's what men must resort to just live. And again, just throw them into throw them all in the jail won't solve anything either. Well, at least this guy's a bit of a real, real, realtist. You are all to be purified per Odin's decree. Mm. Oh dear.
And we should. Let's see which mine this way will lead us. Maybe it's best if I save here. So I keep forgetting the buttons. Move it on. My right, chest. Seven entrance key. Okay. Show me the way. Yeah, but there's still a lot of them. And you did. Gems. Up the staircase. Not quest up here. Young lady, could you spare a minute for an old man? I was a merchant once upon a time. There was a sword I saw long ago that I fell in love with at first sight. 
But just when I finally got my hands on it, my light of amber flickered out. The worst of it is, I don't even know if it was the real thing. That's why I want your expert experience opinion. Hey then. Must be on the other floor. This is going to be a troubling one. Stubborn, are you? I am not leaving without this, so... Yeah, I have no idea how I'm going to get up there. My goodness. Okay. I did not think that would work. Well, I'm definitely glad I got it. We all hope to die gloriously in battle. But now it's more likely that we'll die of hunger and or illness. I hate that. I wonder if there's any uh, any good old warmongering laws out there still. This is definitely a pretty good way to think of things. <sighs> One sec, please, guys. Okay, so that took me about four minutes to try again. Before I have to cut out some. Down we go. Let's check the room up here. Why can't I get it right? What is wrong with me? Every moment I waste, Prince Emmett will. I have to hurry. Sounds like Cypher was desperate to find a cure for him. The Cypher Soul Relic resembles a bottle of medicine filled with a cure for an epidemic. Yeah, this is definitely like last time with Egon, trapped inside a prison of his own making. A prison for a merchant's soul, Cypher's arrows. As if to reflect Cypher's conflicted psyche, a volley of countless arrows will come hurling towards the Valkyrie to block her path. But the enemy of Valkyrie will take damage from the arrows. So 
So everything is just stay away. It's frozen over. Things should give up that easily, mate. So we're gonna have to go downstairs. What's happening, pal? She's stubborn, so... Hello? A prison cell. Time Ward Abacus. Resembles an abacus his mother gave him when he was a child. Destruction. Take my hand. Fight as an inheritor. I thought I had made my answer clear. But why would you refuse? I'm not exactly a natural born fighter. I don't have what it takes to be some chosen warrior. All I'm good for is counting money. And I couldn't even do that right in the end. Listen, Cypher. The whole world, everything we know and love is about to be destroyed. I've already lost my homeland and the people I love. I'm like you. I'm not human anymore, but I know deep down that there's something we can do. I don't want to disappear with unfinished business. And I bet you don't either. I... I just want a chance to make things right. If the world ends, then you shall lose that chance forever. Just no point. I shall give you the power to save this world. <sighs> At least a chance to make amends. Equipping in area. We already know how to do that. So we're going to sign up to four in area. We must look our skills. So 
we've got grave heads too. I tried using that to um, get those flowers, but it didn't work. Still got a lot of these them to find, but I'm sure we've got another area I need to go to. So we've got Elon and Cypher. I think so. Okay, so he has a bit of a balance between physical and magical. With the exception that his physical is a bit more powerful, but his magical is a lot more powerful than what Egon's is. Okay then. I suggest we get out of here. An unexpected reunion. Got an A rank for that, so that's not too bad. I need to do a bit better with uh, damage, so. And the fact that I t had one death. Yeah, I remember now. <sighs> Last episode when I was facing that boss. Stop his memories. Mysterious flower. Obtained a favorite blossom. Ah, oh, yeah, now I remember now. Chimera being reported back at the training grounds. Sorry, Chimera. People say it differently, I was going to say Chimera. Alright. Cypher's memories. Cypher at last. I thought you might never arrive. What a promising looking cargo you've brought with you today. Please excuse my tardiness, Your Grace. Indeed, I have come with some particularly fascinating wares for you. First, is this article. Silk from the farthest northern region. It is spun in such a way that makes it impervious to flame. A fireproof silk. Now that is quite something indeed. And what is this root-like object you have here? Ah, this root is said to be able to cure any ailment. It only grows on the side of certain cliffs. <laughs> the tribe I procured it from claimed they use goats to harvest it. Any ailment at all? Couldn't hurt to have to hand. I'll take that too. A very wise purchase, Your Grace. Have you need for medicine of late? The rumors of a spreading plague in the neighboring lands have me worried. Best to be prepared, wouldn't you say? Superbly insightful, as always, Your Grace. But whatever will your people think? Their young prince concerning himself with grubby roots instead of trinkets and treasures. Ha! Oh, there's the smart-mouthed merchant I know. But I am thankful nevertheless. For if it were not for your interest in oddities, I would not be who I am today. You over-exaggerate. A man of your talents is never far from fortune. <laughs> I fear it is now you who exaggerate your grace. If we had not met, I would still be a slave. Prince Emmet would simply be some distant royalty and not my saviour. <laughs> Mother! Look what I can do on the abacus now! This makes counting so much easier. I can work anything out now thanks to this. Look! Mother? What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? Mother? Shut up, you stupid brat. Why don't you use that thing to figure out she's dead already? Dead? No. No, that can't be! <laughs> <sighs> the thieving slaver. No relatives, no fuss, my arse. What good's that when they croak straight away? And this scrawny brat's as good as useless too. The sick and weak never sell. Should have known there was something fishy about that price. <laughs> A harmless man. Nothing. 
Now get moving! And not another peep from you. Talk about having it rough. Oh, kid. Some people are just too self-centered. Cypher! Get over here! There aren't enough workers to go around today. Go scrub up over there too. That brat gives me the creeps. Sure, he does his work fine, but he doesn't say a single word. And he takes the worn out beat thing with him everywhere he goes. He just ain't normal. Hello, shopkeep. How fares your business? Might you show me your wares? Your Highness, what brings you here to uh, bless us with your presence today? I'm entertaining guests from another land, and they insisted on seeing places of interest around the town. And you came to my humble store. What an honor. <laughs> Cypher, get over here now. I'm going to show our esteemed guests around. While I'm away, count up everything in this crate. As you wish. Well, well. And just as I was starting to think you couldn't speak at all. Anyway. To have it done before I come back. I should be able to count all this pretty quickly. Maybe I could calculate the prices too. Can't even remember the last time I did any calculus. Hey you, might I have a moment? What is that you're using there? I don't think I've ever seen one before. Sorry, who might you be? Forgive me. My name's Emmett. Prince Emmett of Galpa. Pr prince Please forgive my stupidity, your grace. Oh, don't worry. More importantly, tell me about that device you're using. Of course, your grace. This is an abacus. It helps me count and do sums. Oh, yes. I see now. How very interesting. Could you show me how to use it? Yes, your grace. So, if we add these clothes here, and those bags, and... So, there are 23 in total. Then, we can work out the price on this side. <laughs> Incredible! All those complex calculations done in an instant. Yes, and since I've calculated it twice, it's safe to say we've not made any mistakes. Twice? Already? I've never known someone to be so arithmetically capable before. You've a real talent, no doubt about that. A talent? I suppose I'd better get back now. But tell me, what's your name? It's Cypher, Your Grace. Well, Cypher, with a good head like yours, I've no doubt you'll do great things. So long. What a peculiar prince. He spoke to a slave. Like we were equals. How to find that ability like that? Oh, blast! Black's going to lose. It's losing ground on the straight and falling back into the group. I wouldn't be so sure, Your Grace. Just watch. That horse isn't out of the race quite yet. Oh, uh, and who are you? Wait! Ah, the race! What happened? Who won? Well, I'll be. Black really did win. My first victory of the day. Speaking of firsts, I don't believe we've had the pleasure. And just how did you know that horse would win? My name is Cypher. I am but a simple merchant. Perhaps you might remember this abacus. Yes! It's all coming back to me now. You're the lad who was looking after the shop all those years ago. Oh, it's an honor to be remembered by your grace. I must also apologize for my suddenness. <laughs> it's just, 
I had wanted to make your acquaintance once more, to express my gratitude. For what? It was only thanks to your grace's kind words that I realized my talent for calculus. And now, I run my own humble store. I've wanted to thank you for some time now. Oh, good tidings indeed. Though, I think you have your talent to thank for that, not me. Actually, your timing couldn't be better. I've been after a new merchant. Might you bring your wares to the castle? You see, everyone peddles the same old trinkets these days. It leaves one rather wanting. I've been looking for items with a bit of character, just like you and your abacus. What do you say? I'll pay whatever price you name. Ah, uh, yes. I remember that like it was yesterday. And I remember well the first time I came to the castle. The guards almost threw me in the dungeons. <laughs> and they had every right to. What with all the dubious elixirs and strange books in foreign tongues you were trying to bring in. <laughs> I only thought to bring articles worthy of interest. Need I remind you of a certain prince who purchased every last one? <laughs> you have me there. I knew you'd be a great merchant from the moment I met you. You have an eye for things that completely evade others. <laughs> Your grace is far too kind. I fear I won't be able to live up to your great expectations. Anyway, that's why I thought you might be able to supply a remedy for this sickness going of... I... Is something the matter, Your Grace? Do you feel unwell? I, I feel quite dizzy, Oliver. Uh... Prince Emmett! And that's where things have started to go downhill. Sad. Armored. Male human who Valkyrie encountered in Midgard. An amiibo individual who has no less causal towards Valkyrie. He appears to be searching for something in the collapsing world despite not knowing exactly what it is he seeks. A lot more stuff to look up. But that's going to have to wait until the next episode. Sorry to drag this on for a little too long. But at the same time, also apologies for my lack of experience. I think I'll go do a bit of training to get myself back into shape. But anyway, that's going to have to do it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please remember to hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and show your support for the channel. I would very much appreciate that. And with that all being said, I better get going. So thank you all again, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves, and enjoy safety out there, people. Bye-bye, take care, and have a good time.